Hmm. Ooh, that was awfully close. Today has been fun. I'm here with Scout. We're in the car because Nick is sleeping in the Airbnb and I wanted to film, but our Airbnb is just like a studio, so it's just one room. And Scout's with me because she's always with me, so my ride or die. So there's a couple things going on right now. <clears throat> the first is that I've been seeing all these women posting about packing and moving and leaving and um, I guess it didn't really register that I was supposed to be doing that too. Um, I don't know if it's because in previous spring trainings they've felt so long because Nick and I have been apart. But being here for this one, I feel like we've been here a couple days. So I haven't started packing anything and we leave Sunday. The other thing is that we are staying a few days longer than we initially planned. So our Airbnb, I got an email saying that, um, you know, our time is up and uh, we're here for two more days. So even though we're leaving Sunday for season, we have to be out of our Airbnb tomorrow at 11 a.m. So, the other thing that's going on is that Nick just found out pretty much yesterday, kind of unofficially, that he was going to a different team than we initially thought he was. So, instead of going to El Paso, Texas, we are going to San Antonio, Texas um, to AA which is fine except for the fact that we had plans to be in El Paso, so we don't have anything set up in San Antonio. So, the first thing I do is I grab my handy dandy phone and I start texting anyone and everyone and reaching out. I've gotten a lot of good feedback so far. There's definitely women that have lived there and recommend things. Um, I'm hoping to hear back on more of a host family situation. Because Nick ended in AAA last year, you know, we're obviously hoping that uh, El Paso is in the near future. So we don't necessarily want to get something that is a long-term lease. So, working on that, the other part about going to San Antonio instead of El Paso is going to El Paso Nick could drive with me but since it's another eight hours away from where we are right now to San Antonio he has to get on the plane and fly so that means Scout and I will pack up everything and drive by ourselves to San Antonio, which is going to be about a two-day trip since it's um, around 14, 15 hours. A lot of people had questions about why exactly Nick is just finding out where he's going. So at the start of spring training, they have big league camp. So they have a bunch of guys in big league camp, but obviously not all of them can stay on the roster for season. So basically what happens is they start cutting down guys, whether they are released, like I talked about in a previous video, or they are sent down to like AAA, um, they have to start moving guys down. So if they start moving guys down to AAA, obviously the group of AAA guys is now too big. So they have to push guys to down to double A, single A, high single A, whatever. So that's why the, the trickle down effect starts happening and um, pushing players down, they have to push every level. So um, that's kind of still happening even though they're breaking for season in a few days, um, which is just kind of why we have to wait and see where we're going. So all of spring training, Nick played in the AAA group, but now that they've pushed guys down from big league camp, he um, has gotten pushed down to double A. So he'll start in double A. Um, that's kind of how it works with spring training and why, um, you know, we don't always know where he's going and why we kind of um, thought that he would be in El Paso. So it's just one of those things, you gotta roll with the punches. Let's be honest, I haven't done any laundry since we've been here. So that's one of the things we're gonna have to do is um, laundry and clean and pack. We went to the laundromat without any cash. Epic fail. This may not be the safest area.
laundromat was a lot of fun. <laughs> we got our stuff done though. This little guy's gotta go to bed because he still has to get up at six, five, five, five a.m. Um, but we have an entire house that has to be cleaned and packed and we have to be out by 11 a.m. tomorrow. So we're working with uh, a situation. So um, I guess we better get to getting. <laughs>